when I got here and I met the people and I saw what this city was like and what it could become, uh, I really fell in love with it and wanted to do everything I could to help it be successful. You know the names well. Freddie Brown, Jack Sigma, Paul Silas. But when you think of the Seattle Supersonics, it starts and ends with the Hall of Famer, Lenny Wilkins. I told the players that I wanted to make some changes, that I, I really believed that we could win, and I truly believe that. And the, the rest became history. Before. That same history we celebrate today. Everything just went together. And these guys supported one another, you know. I, I thought Lenny put together a, a wonderful mix of young players with some veterans. I mean, Fred and JJ and Paul had been around for a while. And uh, I just remember it was always very competitive practices. I thought, I, I don't know if I've ever been in a team that got better as as much in their practices as we have. We had guys stepping in every day and going at each other and trying to get better. It was better, but things weren't good before he came. <laughs> we were bad. <laughs> Five and 17, terrible record, but we're getting killed. It's not just we've got a bad record, we're not in games. And like, looks at the players in the room and said, I got confidence you guys. You guys are good players. We're gonna have a good team. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is there somebody else behind us? <laughs> no, 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 you talking to us? But he gave us confidence in a way that we didn't think we were any good, but we changed that. Everybody, everybody knew their jobs. Yes. Everybody oh, yeah. knew their oh, responsibility. Yeah, no, it, was, it was outstanding. Yeah, and, and, and that's another beauty that Lenny had. And the thing, remember this: everybody on our team knew everybody's assignment and where they were supposed to be on what cadence that we did it. So if there was a mishap, then we knew what was supposed to be there. Right. <laughs> well, first of all, anything Fred was saying, take with a grain of salt, okay? <laughs> but it's, I've been listening to you guys, it's been great. I think the thing that really separate us from most teams, and I don't know if there was a scientific study of this, but if you like, your teammates, or you have a certain bond with your teammates. Does that necessarily mean, does that translate to winning? I don't know, but it didn't hurt us. I mean, I knew they knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. We prepared. Like uh, Jack was saying, our, our practices, uh, we worked on stuff. Come on. Oh, you know, oh. you talk about uh, if we were going to trap or rotate or whatever, everybody Very knew fun. what they were supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, our yeah. practices, Steve, I'm telling you, Gus and I, we would enter the past into these guys, Lonnie and Paul, oh. or, 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 or Jack yeah. or Dennis or somebody. I mean, these guys were going at it. Our best games were in practice at, at 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> they were just beating the crap out of each other. So we knew, like, man. I, remember we used to stand out there saying, these guys crazy or what? <laughs> <laughs>